the day of Jejudea. Y'all call it Friday. Venus fly trap. Yeah, she's a fly trap pretty much. Get people in darkness. Um, but it's Jejudea, you know, the the archangel that crowns, that rewards you for your spiritual labor. Yes, he does. But uh that's on the kingdom of heaven tip. Now I'm finna, you know, be give you the uh message. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I, man, boy, me and God was uh was, you know, yesterday some you know, it's just certain things can really I when I I, I learned that when you spiritually increase in God, you start, you know, getting more passionately angry about the contrary of the things of God. You know what I'm saying? You you get a angry. How you doing, sir? Uh, you get angry about the things of God that, you know, that people don't, you know, will, you know, ignore that, oh, y'all might see insignificant. But uh, I kind of see more significance. I, but I see the significance of it, you know. And, it's just, I was just so frustrated, spirit, my spiritual frustration just, you know, and I just, you know, you know, let it out, you know. I just love Starbucks, you know, my hangout spot. Um, the thing is, I'm going to talk to you about this reality, you know, uh, well, this, you know, I got this atheist named Blaster bothering me <laughs> on my, you know, videos. He likes to you know, say how much wrong my videos are because he didn't like my, you know, what's wrong with the atheist uh, video. He's like saying that I don't really know what I'm talking about and I need to stop doing what I'm doing or whatever. And he's just jumping on almost all of my videos. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I'm gonna talk to you about this reality. Talk to about it to a friend, an officer friend of mine at Starbucks. I was telling him about. And the topic of this message is talking about um, atom matters. Atoms, you know, those tiny particles of energy that creates the structure of everything that is created in the universe. <laughs> everything is created by an atom. That's what the science said, you know. That atom, watch this, it says atom matters. Now it's like a, you know, kind of like I can use this as in matters means significance, you know what I'm saying? Or I can use this idea as, you know, matter as in, you know, creation, you know, structure. Uh, I'm gonna use it now. I'm finna talk, y'all know, I hope I got some science, I'm finna get science on y'all. Um, the thing is, an atom is, a, like I said, it's this structure that has this nucleus, you know, um, of protons and electrons come together. They have to be in agreement, in agreement, to form this structure, and then this electron, uh, you know, the spinning thing, electron, you know, spins around these protons and neutrons um, yeah protons and neutrons comes together and the uh, electrical you know goes around it and it forms this atom that create that it becomes the energy particles that we are you know come we're together we it creates matter you know matter of the earth you know what I'm saying it's an earthly matter and the thing is, it's the structure of everything. Now watch this, this is what the idea I want you to get. It's the structure of everything in the universe. Everything is created of this structure. You know what I'm saying? The way God did it, blaster. Um, the thing is, everything is structured from, this, from, from everything. In the concerning universe. Now watch this. If this, as what you know, the evil people 
did, you know, in the United States back in the days was trying to find, utilize this structure to, you know, create a weapon that, you know, that will bring, bring harm towards human beings called splitting this atom this atom can, you know, like it, this atom can bring damage to the world. I mean, not, not only damage to, you know, human beings, but it will damage the world if, 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 if most of them were utilized, you know, f for weapons. It can to, just to split this thing, you know what I'm saying? Will damage the world, part parts of the world. It will damage parts of the world if you split this thing. Now, what? Why is that important? Oh, <laughs> oh, why is it important? Oh, I'm gonna really show you and what that got to do with you and what that got to do with me. Well, I'm gonna present a philosophy to you. You know what I'm saying? An ideal philosophy that you need to understand concerning life in any sy system you know and i was talking to him about you know he i run into you know in youtube these atheists they got this you know uh videos and i'm like uh they just drove me nuts i think that the videos drove me nuts spiritually um what they were babbling on because i hear a babble um uh, so, you know, the thing is, here's the thing. Now, if I'm trying to come and now, let's say when I, about, yeah, let me get back to the nucleus. A nucleus has a, new, like I say, a proton and a neutron that comes together. If that proton and neutron is split, it calls destruction. Like I established. Now, if... But if it comes together, that means it's coming into agreement. And the thing is about life that we need to understand about that idea, if it's a structure that is about splitting and not coming to a legitimate agreement concerning the matter, see it is called, you know, atom matters. If we're not trying to get to the matter or the matter of fact of the situation of trying to find the truth, then we're not really all about atoms, or we're, we're not all about the structure of how the universe is created. You know what I'm saying? If we're not, you know, trying to come in agreement to discover the truth of everything, we are not really, we're disobeying the creation pattern of, of the universe. And the thing is, here's the thing. The reality of what we're supposed to be doing is trying to find the truth, the absolute truth. Now, I, you know, oppose this question on this, you know, atheist video. And he's saying that, you know, uh, Jesus didn't exist and Jewish people don't exist. So, you know, say, oh, he's saying that they didn't exist. So I, you know, comment and ask the question, well, you know, if... Now, I, I asked him this, okay, if, and they said, he said the stories were wrong, and, you know, they didn't come from, they wasn't enslaved in Egypt, and, you know, and everything didn't exist, and whatever. So, I asked the question, okay, well, you know, there's millions of Jews, well, billions, billions of Jews and Christians out there, uh, but there's billions of Christian Jews out there, so if they did not, if their story is wrong concerning of where they came out, then you're going to have to find any historical facts in human history to where they come from because they're here. See, the thing is they're here. There's billions of them here. And the thing is, but they, if, if they're here, then they had to have an origin. Everything in this world has to have an origin. If it's here, you know what I'm saying? If I was born, you know what I'm saying, on earth, that, 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 you know I was born in earth because I'm talking to you right now on earth. 
right now uh, giving, speaking you a message. Everything in this earth, everything that's created has an origin. And you have to find the correct origin if it did not line up if you say the if you say that the story of Exodus or that Egypt and you know Sinai and you know uh, and now they're in Israel and Jesus don't exist, he says Jesus don't exist. If he don't exist, then you're gonna have to find what where if he didn't come from this story, he had to come from another story then because it's an existence. It's an existence of Jews. There's an existence of Christians. Why is there an existence of Christians? You know what I'm saying? See, you have to understand the facts of the what matters because there's matter. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, like if somebody say, I don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Okay, if I don't exist, you got to question me why I'm talking on this video right now to people on Facebook and YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You got to question the existence. You got to question the origin to where it comes from. You know what I'm saying? If it didn't come from the story that you don't believe that is a bunch of lies, but you're going to have to find out where it came from. Because it had to come from somewhere if it never had, if it, if it doesn't have an existence. But there is an existence of Jews and there's an existence of Christians. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, say that this story is a lie and say it, it, they don't exist when there are so many of, you know, Jews and Christians out there, you know? It's just that, you know, people don't have a desire, of course, you know, like David says, a fool will say in their heart, there is no God. You know what I'm saying? And they will, you know, use every little natural detail to try to discredit the reality of the truth. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that, you know, that it's all about existence. Really, it's all about cause and effect. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if there's no such thing of a Jewish or a Christian, there wouldn't be called Jews or Christians across the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it never existed. You know what I'm saying? It's just that that's what just irritated me last night. It was just, I'm looking at his videos and I'm like, oh my God. It's just you, they're just talking about, you know, rambling on and what the historical facts did not say this and the historical this records can, did not get this accurate and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, OK, now it, I'm like the simple question is, if it doesn't exist and where did these people are getting this crazy idea of becoming a Christian and a Jew? Why, where does crazy idea come from? Why do they do these crazy, you know, Jewish holidays from? Why just so happens that blood moons came on the holidays of the Jewish people for all of a sudden? How did that crazy coincidence, catas you know, coincidence happen and it occur if these people don't have no establishment? You know what I'm saying? There's no establishment you know, concerning these people. You know what I'm saying? Why is these people reading this Bible concerning the cross? And why, you know, this uh, God that is of America, you know, why do we say God bless America? Why do we got God in the Pledge of Allegiance saying one nation under God? Why is we, you know, got God in God we trust in the dollar bill? And why is this United States is one of the most greatest countries to ever come to that everybody wish to go here? Why, why is all of this going on if this is so much a fabrication of not the truth? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I, I'm on answer because look, in life, you do not want to participate in something that doesn't have any meaning. I mean, if it's meaningless, you know what I'm saying? You, you should not participate in something that's meaningless. You have to find something that is meaningful to truly have life is meaningful. And that's the whole idea of the matter concerning Adams, but if you're not trying to find a reason to come in agreement concerning the truth, then you are trying to just cut the atom and bring destruction and bring, you know, uh, division and divided, you know, what happens, you know, united we stand, divided we fall. And nobody, and nothing, division, nothing comes good out of division. People get conquered and nothing, you know, everything bad happens and hatred builds. 
negativity, confusion, conflict, and chaos that Satan wants in this country that happens. So understand that the matters happen, and you need to be about the truth. God, to God be the glory here and forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.